My name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. I just want to give you guys a market update. Now let's look at Coke, Coke Coin. Um, you know, I have told you guys in the past that I expect the Coke Coin to go down to 25 cents. The only thing I am a bit surprised is it went down to 25 cents so fast. Um, I really thought that maybe, you know, uh, maybe even if Coke Queen went down, it'll only go down to like, I don't know, like around 35-ish uh, to, you know, 33 cents. As long as Bitcoin held its strength, which it has. Bitcoin has held strength. And so for Coke Queen to already go down to 25 cents when Bitcoin has held strength is not a good sign. I'm not going to lie. It's not a good sign. And so, you know, normally what happens... Oh, so let me explain it in Korean. Uh, they got... Uh, Okay, so it's not good. You get 좋은 sign 아니지만 Right now, uh, Coke Queen is 지금 pumped 되고 What I think, 내 생각은 Coke Queen is 이거 노란색 line 그쪽에 안가면 좀더 올라갈 수 있어요. Okay, so what I think in Coin is going to go up to the yellow line, maybe a little bit more. Okay, why am I saying that? Because I'm looking at the past history, all right? Uh, when Coin has a good pump, it goes to the purple line. Coin got 좋은 pump 때문에 이거 purple line, or I can't even say purple. <laughs> 보라색? I think purple is 보라색. Yeah, 보라색, 보라색. So, 차 되면 코코넛 보라색 라인까지도 올라갈 수 있으면 It's gonna be about, 뭐, 차 되면 60센트로 올라갈 수도 있고 or 좀더 하지만 비트코인이가 약하면 코코넛이 떨어져요. 상관없어요. Or 이, 여기, 이 상태. 이렇게 노란색 라인, 안 가면 노란색과 좀더 올라가지만 보라색도 안, 만, 안 만지고 그까지 안 올라가고 그럴 수도 있어요. So right now, Coin is having a pump, but it might only go to the yellow line or you know pass the yellow line, but not as far as the purple line. Okay, and the reason why I'm saying that is because it's just the history. Where they got to get by it and get him on. 전에 price action 보면 그런 행동이 있으니까. So. Yeah, the reason why I'm saying that, I'm just telling you from the past. Remember when Coke Queen went up to like a dollar, you know, I said it was going to go down. Um, I really didn't expect Coke Queen to go down to 25 cents already. Okay, and I don't think anybody was calling for a 25 cent Coke Queen except me. Um, and so, I showed you guys in the past that really... I was expecting Coke Coin to level off around 25 cents on the second drop of Bitcoin and then have a, a flash crash to like 17 cents. Uh, it already went down to 25 cents. So it all depends on Bitcoin now. If Bitcoin has another leg down from here and goes down to like 17, under 17,622. Cocoin can have another leg down from 25 cents. That's actually a possibility. Kunigan, Bitcoin, you go man, chichan, you beg, you be dollar, but I told Toto to moon. Cocoin, you got easy, but sent to put a total just see soil. Yeah. So, um, we're just seeing how that goes. So, Kugutone, they got. Uh, this is this. What I mean by second down period is if you look at Bitcoin, this is back in 2015. Bitcoin went down, that's number two, and then 200 days later, it went down again for number three, right? If you look at number three, this is made by uh, Steve by Crypto Crew University. I definitely recommend his channel. And 2018, 2020, this is 400 days apart. 
once again, look at number two. Number three almost went down as far as number two. In this one, number three went further down than number two. That's 200 days apart. This is 300 day, uh, 400 days apart. So I was expecting Bitcoin to go down, have a move up. And then when it goes down for the number three touch back down to the purple line, I expect the Cocoin to go down, you know, 25 cents at that time and have a spike down where you're going to have like a, an opportunity to buy Coke coins for like 17 cents, you know. Uh, and I've said that in previous videos, but Coke coin already went down to 25 cents on the first go around. So that's, you know, it's not really the best of signs. I'm just telling y'all straight up. Okay, and I love Coke coin as a project, but once again, it's a bear market. I mean, they're just crashing, you know, smashing coins. So they got bought in gear. They get full moon. Each and she born your neck. Uh, it's a Bitcoiniga, Hambon, you get Toro Chuku, Ebek Na Chinamensa, Sabunche, you get Toro Janayo. Yeah, that happened in 2015, Ichan Shibonyan, Yogiru, Ichan Shipanyan, number two, you get Toro Chuku, Sabek Na Chinendame, Sabun, number three, Sabun, you get Toro Jusayo. Kunigan, videos. video number three, seven so if Bitcoin already went down to 25 cents on this first drop, when Bitcoin drops again later, rather it's 200, 300, 400 days later, it's probably going to drop more than 25 cents. I mean, that's just a realistic way of looking at it. Okay, so remember, you know, I'm not here to tell you guys lies, right? You guys came to me to, you know, tell you guys the truth, right? There's nobody in Coke Play who talked about a 25 cent Coke coin before me. I was the first one to say it. And, you know, even a 17 cent flash crash. Yeah, I don't think anyone ever mentioned it is besides me. And I see it coming, but I don't know when. Um, but anyway, we see Coke coins having a nice little, little pump up recovery. Um, once again, it all depends how Bitcoin reacts, and that's gonna pretty much determine what's gonna happen to CoCoin because all the other coins follow Bitcoin. Okay, 지금 CoCoin 보수 이지 보센트 떨어지지만요. 이제 나중에 CoCoin 어떻게 되는지 보는 게 그게 이제 Co Bitcoin 또 체크하여. So Bitcoin 가 다시 올라가면 CoCoin 도 올라갈 수 있고요. 아 그럼 Bitcoin 계속 왔다 갔다 이렇게 되면 CoCoin 더 떨어질 수 있어요. Okay. 그럼 내가 다른 데 보라 내가 처음 코코넛이 25% 떨어진다고 말하는 사람 거의 없었고 내가 처음으로 그리고 그거는 I saw the chart 차트 다 보면 그렇게 나와요 okay, you, look at, you look at the charts it shows you what's gonna happen 여기 코코넛 이거 차트 보면요 Mm. Let's look at the max. Chom Puman. Iroke. They got Iroke Tapu to soil. Kinega Nazing a Chigum Ezip was sent. Nazing a Coke Coinega Ezip sent. Sheep Ku sent. Cricket Toro Choil. Nazing a Coke Coinega. 이렇게 20센트 떨어질 수 있어요. Right now, Cocoin's at 25 cents, but if you look at past history, Cocoin can go down to 20 cents, 19 cents. Okay. Um, this is the fast crash I'm talking about. This one here. 내가 이거 보여준 거예요. 전에 이거 right here. 
that 15 cents, yeah, okay, it was 15 cents, not 17. Cocoin, you don't get a just so you should be sent to Kazi. Even worse, totally just so you You just, you never know. This is all possibility. Why? Okay? Because it happened in the past, it can happen, you know, the prices can go down like that again. Okay? So, they got 다 미리 warning 거 말해 주는 거 이렇게 될수 있다고. Right? Look at this. 이렇게 가지 치달러 가지 이렇게 떨어진 게, right? 다 다른 채널 없었을 거예요. 코코인 이렇게 떨어질 수 있다고 말하는 사람 나밖에. So, 그거 just I'm 진실하게 그렇게 말해 준 거예요. You know, so yeah, no one else told you guys that 25, you know, cents or was it 17, 15 cent drops or possibility except me that I know of when it comes to CoCoin or the other people I told that contact me privately about CoCoin prices. All right. So right now, um, yeah, it, it's not. When it comes to CoCoin prices, it doesn't look good. But when it comes to what CoCoin is doing on the platform, uh, the fund, the the platform, and the business aspect, and everything of of upgrading and trying to um, develop the platform and you know advance the technology, the business fundamentals look good. But because it's a bear market, in a bear market, business fundamentals don't really matter. It just doesn't in a bear market. And that's why the prices don't reflect the business fundamentals of Coke Play. And Coke Play business day is an end. You get bear market to Nikan. Bear market to God. Business day is an Bear market to not. So the price will not reflect the business value. Okay, I'm much aware because it's a bear market. It's called kung market, kung <laughs> bear market So yeah, um. So there you have it. All right. Now, so it can get worse. You go put Toshima just so Yeah, I'm letting you know. Okay, so. And you know, when Lady Coke Play asked me to make these videos, she didn't ask me to lie. She just wanted me to tell you all the truth so you get real honesty. Okay. So Lady Coke Play, you go video. 만들어 주라고 해온 듯한 만지르라 만지르 주라고 시켰대 이게 거짓말 시키지 말라고는 했어요. 그냥 진실하게 다 말해 주라고. 그 지금까지 이렇게 다 진실하게 말해 주셨잖아요. Yeah. So, you know, um, if you saved money from things I've said, think Coke Play, think Lady Coke Play. You know, 지금 내가 지금 까지 내가 말한 것 대해서 뭐 비트코인이나 코코넛이나 이거 뭐 이직 팔으면서 돈을 세이브했다 그러면 다 그거 뭐 레이디 코크 플레이 그 코크 플레이 때 고맙게 생각해야 돼요. Cause they asked me to tell you that you know they told me don't lie, just tell the truth. 나보고 이렇게 거짓말 시키지 말고 그냥 진실하게 말해 주라고. 그래서 지금까지 그렇게 했으니까 you know yeah. All right, now let's look at Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin from one. Um, you know the same. Chigom. What what you want to look at Bitcoin? Gaji Puman. You want to look at the DXY. Biguk dollar DXY patio right here. Right now, this is the DXY. Okay. So if the DXY continues to go up, DXY가 계속 올라가면 Bitcoin 하고 
뭐 S&P 500 해고 다 떨어질 거예요. 그러면 네, so S&P 500, 뭐 Dow Jones 그거 미국 주식 떨어지면 Bitcoin 도 떨어지고 왜 그러면 DXY 미국 달러, the 미국 달러가 올라가니까. Okay, so that's what you want to look at right now. 그거만 보면 좀 얻는 길이 가는 게 알아요. Okay, but right now, um, you know, if it goes like this, 이렇게 해든지, 어, 이 정도 가든지, 아무튼, 제 낮은 가격 또살수 있는 찬스가 또 생겨요. Okay, so rather it goes the way in 2015, where it's 200 days apart, but Bitcoin is leveling up and down at a low price, or it's 2017, where it has a nice little rally and dumps down because of the COVID crash. Whatever case is, whatever causes it, you're going to have another chance to buy Bitcoin at a pretty low, at near as low, lowest price. Right now, nobody really knows if this is the lowest price, right? 지금 Bitcoin가 더 떨어질 수 거니 다 몰라요. 하지만 나중에 이렇게 올라가고 또 이렇게 올라가면 특별히 이 정도 올라가면 나중에 또 떨어지면 알아요. So, you know, rather it's in 2015 style or the 2018-2020 style, when Bitcoin goes up and then whatever price where when it dumps the second time, it's near the bottom of the first price. So let's say it's 17,500 and then it goes up and then it dumps and it gets near, you know, 17,800 or 17,300, whatever the case is, we know that's the bottom. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, we don't know yet if Bitcoin is at its bottom, but you know, there's a good chance that is, and I can't say it's a good chance, but it's a fair chance that it might already hit his bottom. You know, we're just, we're just waiting. Okay, so, 그냥 그렇게 기다리고, 내 생각은 비코인이가 좀 다시 또 떨어질 것 같아요. 이 상태에서, but we'll see. In my opinion, Bitcoin might have had another little move down. Maybe next couple of days, we'll see. But right now, for me, I, I wouldn't buy in at this stage. Yeah, so right now, it's not the best time to buy. It's better just to wait. That's just my opinion. Okay, so we're still seeing what happens. Um, right now, this can go either ways. 그냥 나는 기다리고 이거 올라가는지 내려가는지 두다 두 갈수 있으니까요. 지금 비트코인 미리 산 거는 놔두고 이 상대에서 더 사는 거는 아직 기다리는 거 나는. Yeah, so whatever Bitcoin I have, which is around about 40, 35 to 40%, uh, I already, I'm just holding it, but I'm not adding positions. Not at the moment. Okay. All right, so that is my market update. All right. Uh, remember everyone, I am not your financial advisor. Okay. No, come I am not your financial advisor. Okay. I'm not telling you what to do. Nega, bu hera go baran all right, I'm telling you what I'm doing. And why? And where? 내가 뭐 하는 거 말해주고 왜 그렇게 하는 거 말해주는 거야. That's it. Okay? So, you make the decision from all the information you, co you collect. Yeah? You can make a decision from all the information you collect. Okay, that's it. You know, you make your own decision, all right? So, remember that. 
Now, also, I do want to give... Uh, there is one warning I do want to give, and I'm not going to translate this into Korean because it, it, it's just a lot of work. Okay? So, they both... 말할 게 있는데 그러니까 한국말 통역하는 게 너무 힘드니까 그냥 안 해도 그냥 영어말로 하는 거예요. Um, so once again, this is just being transparent. I'm just being very honest with all of you. Okay, this is if you if you're still listening. So the CEO of Coke Play. Okay. Um, so Mr. Yoon Kwan shoot I'm sorry I'm trying to scroll it's embarrassing I forgot his name at the moment um anyway so this is a thing in one of his um interviews the CEO of Coke Play or the president of Coke Play he did mention that, which is very smart. This is what a lot of people do is he didn't sell Coke coins to get money. What did he, what he did is he used cryptos like Coke coin as, uh, as leverage to get a loan from banks. Okay, and obviously I imagine his the interest rate he's paying back will be very low. And so, you know, Coke Play as a platform, obviously they have a lot of Bitcoin. Uh, they have a lot of Ethereum. They also have a lot of Tether. And so I imagine he used, you know, some of his Bitcoin, Tether, Ethereum, and Coke Coins. Remember, this is just what I think. I, I You know, I'm not saying this is the case. But he did say he used some, he did a system like that. I think, you know, maybe my Korean isn't perfect, but I think he did that to get leverage to get a loan from the bank. Okay. And so, what normally happens, like Celsius or, or other cases, is if Bitcoin or CoCoin prices go too low then depending on how that contract is set up on how he got a loan from the bank is he might have to sell off whatever cryptos he used as a loan to pay the bank off you guys understand what that what i'm saying so you know like if that if something like that happens, then, you know, that that's not a good sign. <laughs> that's not healthy. Um, so, I don't know what the, the real, you know, I think it's just something he mentioned, but I don't know the real contract. But, yeah, I mean, um, that's the only fear that I would have. Okay? And I'm just saying this to all of you in the Coke family because... If I didn't know that, which I'm pretty sure none of you knew or none of you even think that way, I think that way, all right? Um, I would want that person to be transparent and tell me, right? And this is all about honesty, okay? So I'm just being honest with you. Remember the the, the, the prices that I, I, I say, a lot of those hit. I mean, they hit to the penny, um, you know, so, or the lines that I mentioned, I mean, it hits, you know? And so, that's the thing. I don't know what kind of contract uh, the president of Coke Play has in terms of how he got money from the bank uh, and, you know, how, what coins or what he used as leverage to get money from the bank. And if there's a term where if those coins reach, go down to a certain price, if he has to liquidate the coin to pay um, back the loans or a percentage of the loans like i don't know how that works but you know like you know 
you have cases like oh, Michael Saylor or, or, or Celsius where like, you know, if Bitcoin would have hit a certain price, they would have to sell everything they had or, or most of what they had, whatever their contractual deal is, where it could bankrupt them or financially really hurt them. Maybe not bankrupt them, but they'll be really hurt, right? And so I don't know what the case is with Coke Play. Um, I definitely think because he has guys like Thomas Frey and, um, you know, like other advisors, law, you know, uh, a crypto lawyer and all that, like he has the right advisors where I'm sure, you know, like David Thaw and Jill Kerrigan, but, you know, really David Thaw, because I think he's, he's the lawyer and, and, you know, Thomas Frey, where he has the right team to advise him, where I'm sure he made the right decisions and that, you know, um, he's okay. And so, you know, that, that's another thing that I thought about, you know, I was like, oh man, these prices are getting real low. I, I remember in the video, he said he used crypto to get leverage, to get money from the bank. I don't know how that contract is set up, but then he also has a crypto lawyer. He has the right team. Um, so I'm sure, you know, they advised him and, you know, President Coke play, he has lots of experience, um, I'm sure. You know, he didn't put himself in serious danger, but that is a threat of what I consider. And so this is something that you probably never heard from any Coke Play channel because they don't know. Or even if they heard the interviews because their Korean's perfect and mine isn't, but they don't know how, how that business works in that, in that, to what I reference. But I have an idea of it. And so that's why I'm just telling you honestly, like that is worrisome to me. Okay. And those couple other people in, in Coke Play where they contact me personally and they go, oh, do you think everything's okay? And I told them like, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll make it. There is one thing. And I told them I'll make a video about it and I'll explain it in the video. And this is that. So I don't know what the situation is with that. But once again, I, that's just one thing. Um. But then, you know, he has the right team. So uh, hopefully he got the right advice and made the right deal. <laughs> so, but yeah, that that is something that I, I am a bit worried about. Especially with CoCoins hitting the, you know, 25 cents so early. Which I figured, like I was, you know, pretty confident it was going to go down to 25 cents, but not this fast. And so I'm more worried about the next leg down. Um, but anyway... <laughs> that's that all right so once again i'm just telling you this out of love like everything i guided y'all with, with with crypto prices is i'm just showing you and telling y'all like i wish i had this for me back in 2017 when i suffered through the bear market you know but this is not my first rodeo right i've been through this war this battle I know how to survive it. And so that's why, you know, I, I give y'all the, the, tell y'all what I'm doing. And, you know, what I'm doing is pretty good. Um, and I tell y'all stuff about Coke, Coke Play, the real reality of the prices. It's not like I'm wrong, right? And so that's why I just tell you, just to be very, very transparent. So there, you know, there's trust, right? Because I want to, I'm just treating you how I would want someone to treat me. So, yeah. Um, all right, everyone. That, that, that's it. Look, love all of you guys. I'm praying for all of you in Jesus' name. God bless all of you. Please be healthy. Eat healthy. Take good care of yourself, okay? Surround yourself with the right people. Please be spiritually healthy, mentally healthy. Um, you want to prep for things to get worse before it gets better, okay? Expect. Uh, you already know is a technical recession, uh, you know, they're saying this and that, trying to weave their way to say that is not. But if who the media called was a big bag orange man, you know, former President Trump was in office, they would have called this a Trump recession, right? Uh, this is the Biden recession. So I don't care who's in office. I don't care what party is in office, but I got to treat them the same. 
And this is the Biden recession. Trump was in office. This is the Trump recession. But it's Biden. This is the Biden recession. And so they could talk about this job stuff all they want. But I'm telling you right now, forget the way they measure job. Uh, job market is a scam. And it's a scam because it's like, well, they don't look at labor participation, which is, you know, is, is at a low. They're looking at. Well, are you looking for a job? And also, like, there's a fixed period of time uh, where if you don't look for a job within six months, then you're not in that labor market, you know, how they do the statistics. Uh, you can be doing a bullshit job, like, well, I, I want to call it a bullshit job, but let's say, like, you need a full-time job, but you're just mowing lawns, and, and they'll consider that as you're working. But is that really work, like, you're just mowing lawns in the neighborhood? And they were doing that for Trump, and that's why his labor numbers look so great, but it wasn't really what people think it was. And they're doing the same thing for Biden and that's how you know the labor numbers are bull BS because it was BS when President Trump was in office well it's just as much BS as when Biden is in office um, and what you're going to see now is because you have a technical recession um, two declines in GDP in two quarters right yeah two quarter decline D GDP back to back this is when you're going to start seeing that uh, the job market is going to get worse and you're going to see layoffs, um, companies cutting employees. And then, you know, forget this whatever 3% that they're talking about. It's going to jump like 6 7%. And 6 7% uh, of unemployment is like, you know, 9% of the CPI. When we all know, you know, inflation is really like 20%. Well, when they start saying that, you know, unemployment is at 6 7%, you can best believe it's probably double, more than double that too. So I'm just letting y'all know things will get worse before it gets better, right? And I've been saying this for over a year and it just continues to get worse, all right? And I'm not saying this because I want you to be scared. I'm saying this because I want you to be prepared. I'm just saying this because I wish somebody would tell me if I was clueless about it or I didn't know and somebody would just tell me to warn me and let me know what's up. And I'm just doing that for you. So once again, you want to prep for this stuff. Get ready. Work if you can work. Double up on your jobs. You know, I'll be honest. I do this, but I work 60 hours a week. Yeah, I forget 40. I hit like, really, I work around plus 50 to 60 hours a week on average. All right. And I do it because what I advise other people, I live it. I do it. You know, because I see it coming. I, I got a family. I got two sons. I got a wife. I, all of that. I got I got to prep for all this. I got to get ready for all this because I see it coming. There's no reason for me to tell you and not and not do it myself. All right. So, yeah. All right, everyone. God bless all of you in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. And now's a great time to, you know, get to know God. All right. Um, Jesus loves you. God bless you and coke on.